There's no shortage of good carbon fiber gravel wheel sets these days. And the prices, as you probably know, has tumbled quite dramatically over the last few years as well. These wheels though are reassuringly expensive. They are the NVG23. They're not a brand new wheel set. They've actually been around for a couple of years now, but they're still a current high-end wheel set from the US brand. And I've been riding them for the last few weeks on this very lovely BMC Unrestricted. So I thought I'd give you my opinion on these wheels and whether they're worth the quite lofty price tag. So the G23 is MV's high-end gravel wheel set offering. G for gravel and 23 for the internal rim width. There's also a G27, and that's a smaller 650B wheel set with a 27mm internal rim width. They both share the same carbon fiber construction, which owes a lot to the mountain bike wheels. So plenty of good tech in these wheels, but are they worth the price? Well, let's dive in and find out. Before we do dive into the review, I always recommend a tuber setup for off-road riding. It just minimizes the risk of punctures and makes riding off-road much more enjoyable and fuss-free. And this video is sponsored by Orange Seal. Now, Orange Seal is a premium, high-grade, environmentally friendly sealant. It comes in two versions, regular, which seals bigger holes, and endurance, which lasts longer between refills, depending on your preference and requirements. It comes in a small bottle with a small tube that makes it dead easy to get in your tires, just remove the valve cords and away you go. There's also a dipstick for checking how much sealant there is in your tires because it will gradually dry out over time or you have more punctures, it will leak out. But I found in my experience, Orange Seal lasts a really long time between refills. If you want to find out more about Orange Seal and grab a bottle for yourself, check out the link in the description down below. Okay, back to the review. Let's talk about performance and how they ride. And well, there's no getting away from the fact these wheels are truly impressive, as you'd hope for the lofty price tag. I'll be riding these wheels mostly on the BMC Unrestricted, but also other bikes over the last few weeks and different tires and swapping them around just to really get a feel for what these wheels are all about. The first thing that strikes you is the low weight. They weigh just over 1300 grams, which is truly impressive for a carbon fiber wheel designed for the rigors and demands of gravel riding. Definitely one of the lighter wheels I've ridden in the last few months. And that weight you notice straight away. The bike feels really responsive and really alert to your pedaling inputs. The low weight of the rims helps to offset the higher weight of a gravel bike due to bigger, burlier tires and some other features like the rear soft tail on this bike, keeping the weight of the bike low and you really feel that on the climbs, especially with luggage as well. So every little extra does help on longer off-road climbs where the weight can be a factor. That weight also manifests itself in the handling of the bike as well. In swoopy single track trails, the bike just feels easier and more agile to throw around the corners, just feels more alive. And that lower mass definitely helps when you're accelerating out of corners as well. It might be psychological, but it definitely helps you. And despite that low weight, they don't feel delicate or fragile at all. I'll be riding these wheels on all my local trails and also a trip to Wales for the Grind Duro, which you might see in my video, link above if you missed it. And if you saw my video from Grind Duro, you'll know there's some very technical rocky sections where any defects in the rim would be definitely highlighted. But these rims were bomb proof, really strong, even with low pressures, and I'm talking like low 30s, high 20s, and occasionally I could feel the rim contacting the ground with a you know, telltale sort of sound and impact. The rims shrugged it all off. No impact damage on the rims. The wheels are still true. I've checked the spoke tension and it's all hunky-dory. So no side effects from that low weight. And they're definitely up to the task of hardcore gravel riding with luggage or just riding your roughest local trails you can with low pressure tires. So I'm really impressed with how strong these wheels are. And it's also reassuring to know that MV tests these wheels to the same standards it uses for its mountain bike wheels. So they're definitely tough enough. The wheels are still perfectly true. No issues with them going out of alignment. Spoke tension is all good. And that's a good thing because as you can see, the spoke nibbles are hidden inside the rims. So you get nice clean looks, but maintenance is a little bit trickier, but thankfully I've not had to do any maintenance to them at all and I have a set on another bike and they've been fine for several years of riding. 
The other really interesting and appealing benefit of the wheels due to the carbon fiber lip and this unique bell-shaped profile is how to add extra compliance to a gravel bike when you're riding off-road. Now, compliance is a tricky thing to quantify, but based on my experience riding many, many bikes and wheels and tires on familiar gravel tracks, I can definitely tell these wheels give a slightly smoother ride than other conventional carbon wheels. When riding washboard gravel and impacting roots and rocks at high speed, the wheels just feel a bit smoother, remove some of that vibration burst you normally get from a carbon fiber wheel set, especially a deeper profile as well. And I really appreciate that on a bike where comfort is definitely a factor. Yes, you have big fat tires at low pressure giving you lots of comfort. And on this bike, the soft tail rear end as well. But the rims definitely give an extra one or 2% of comfort or compliance. And that reduces fatigue over long rides. There's less energy coming through the bike. So it's just a smoother, calmer ride. Like I say, it's hard to quantify it, but based on my experience, these are definitely a smoother riding wheel set. Something that's difficult to get across in the press release or details when you're reading about the wheels on their website, but when you ride them, you can really detect that extra compliance they offer over a normal carbon fiber wheel set and definitely a deeper section carbon wheel. The rims have a massive 23 millimeter internal rim width designed for up to a 45 millimeter wide tire. And I've got some Panaracer Gravel King 43 tires on and that wide internal rim width gives a nice broad platform a nice base foundation for your wide tires so at low pressures there's no squirming there's none of that light bulb effect so you get nice confidence inspiring stability in corners when you're dealing with loose uh, ground surface where it's very unpredictable these are really planted just feel really secure and a tire with tubeless hasn't burped or come unseated at all the rims are laced to MV's own alloy hubs, but you can, if you want, and you're feeling flush, spec high-end hubs like Chris King, for example. These hubs, though, have worked really well during the time I've had the wheels. Reliable, fast, engaging, and free hub, and they look really good as well. Inside, we have premium high-grade bearings that have been durable and silky smooth, even after grinding through the mud over the last few weeks. The bearings are pre-loaded from the factory, so no adjustment is necessary, and no play has presented itself so far. No tools needed, and that's all good. The Instant Drive 360 Free Hub is one developed by Mavic, because both wheel brands were owned by the same company up until recently. And it's a ratchet-style drive system which has fewer moving parts than pulls. In use, engagement feels instant, with no delay in stomping on the pedals. One other nice detail about the Envy rims, when you build them from the ground up, you can expect to have standard or custom decals, which BMC has used to ensure these wheels color match almost precisely the very purple frame on this BMC unrestricted. So nice attention to detail. I like the fact you can customize them. There's no denying that at 2,800 pounds, these are really expensive wheels and out of the price range for most people. Now the price of carbon wheels, as most of you know, has come down a lot over the last five to 10 years. And even Envy will sell you a foundation AX gravel wheel set for about 1,850 pounds, so much cheaper than these. And while it might be hard to justify the price of these, and I'm not about to justify them for you, there are a lot of features to commend on these wheel sets that definitely push them ahead of those many cheaper wheels in the carbon wheel market. Firstly, that's at low weight, which is much lighter than many other carbon wheels by a good measure. The stiffness of the wheels is good. The strength and durability is incredible. These wheels are bomb proof despite their low weight. And then as the other harder to quantify feature, the compliance and comfort, the smoothness they offer over many really stiff carbon wheels. All that together makes these a wheel set that almost justifies that high price tag and definitely pushes them ahead of many cheaper carbon wheels in my mind, based on my experience of riding many carbon wheels and many different bikes over the last 15 years. There is a lot of interesting technology here, which you don't find in other carbon wheels by a company that's been making carbon wheels for the last 10, 15 years with all expertise, and that really shows. These aren't a marketing exercise. They are a phenomenal wheel set, and all that technology and all the features really prove itself out in the real world on the gravel tracks I ride on a regular basis. The difference between these and a cheaper entry-level carbon wheel set might be small, but it's definitely there. And if you want the best and you can afford the best, 
these won't disappoint you at all. It's just a shame that they are so expensive and out of reach for most people, including myself, because we won't get to experience the phenomenal ride quality of these wheels. They are truly stunning. But sadly, they're going back, but I've had a really good time riding them. And I think they really do point to where gravel wheels need to go. Aero isn't the main factor for many people riding gravel, but the strength, the durability, and that compliance. I think that compliance is a really interesting and intriguing feature. And we've seen a zip with their new 101 Explore wheel also going down this route as well, trying to focus on compliance and comfort over pure aero, which many carbon wheels, especially cheaper carbon wheels, are solely focused on. Anyway, that has been my review of the MV G23 carbon fiber wheels. If you wanna find out more, I'll put a link down below. Go and check them out and buy a set if you're feeling flush. But a truly impressive wheel set with a truly impressive and eye-watering price, it has to be said. But that's all for now. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to put them down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for other behind the scenes bikes I'm currently testing. And there are loads of interesting bikes on the go at the moment. And I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.